Well guys, I just so happened to look outside and it appears that I might have something delivered. Let's take a look, shall we? <clears throat> what is that? What's that right there? What is that? Funny story. It's happening at this moment. Right as I come out here to do this, they pull up to fix my toilet. <laughs> so uh, it looks like as soon as they get done with my toilet, I'm going to go on a bike ride real quick before it gets too late or maybe rains or anything. And then I'm going to get home and get this uh, opened up and let you see what we got. Good stuff. All right, guys. Now, after all that, got the boxes in here. The guys got done with fixing my toilet in about three minutes of getting here. $150 later. Went for my bike ride, got back, got this dresser out of here. If you remember, had a dresser here, had stuff sitting on it that I, you know, I had dumbbells and my papers and stuff on there. Uh, got it outside, did it all by myself, thanks to me. And I got stuff kind of cleared out the way. So, all right, let's see what we got, guys. I know what we don't have, and that's a sharp blade. Good lord. Ow! Bastage. The bad thing about these uh, items from Titan Fitness is they don't come with a manual. You got to look at it online. So you're sitting here with your phone, you're sitting here with a laptop, or you got to be by your desktop computer, or what have you. Or if you're lucky enough to have a printer. You can print them off. Ooh. Thank you for your order. This is going to be all the nuts and bolts. So what did I get, guys? What did I get? Well, you can't really... There's not a real picture that I can show you right now. But... I'll put a picture in whenever I tell you. I got the Titan Compact Leg Sled, Leg Press, Hex Squat. Picture over here. Picture over here. Picture. Now, long story short, that never happens. I've wanted a leg press since the 90s when I started working out. Now this isn't your typical leg press that you would think of. It's kind of more of a hack squat, if you will. It's kind of a hack squat and a leg press kind of combined and kind of one little thing. But uh, looks good. Oh, but. Um, it's, it's going to be good enough for where I'm at now in my life and my age and what I'm going for. I don't have to press a thousand, two thousand pounds. I'm good. <laughs> Most I've ever done is a thousand pounds and that was horrible. And it got stuck on me after about two or three reps. So, yep, that's going to be the back. I am a little bit, oh, I'm a little bit sore. Sometimes whenever I work out shoulders, I get a little sore. In the back. 
unfortunately. Ugh, I hate that phone. I ordered this Monday on a holiday and got it today on Thursday. So really, you know it didn't even go through and take off until Tuesday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like three days and I got this thing. That's pretty stupid. Very surprised. All right, this looks like a weight horn. One of the weight horns. There's the other weight horn. One of the cross legs. Pretty certain. Oh, man. Uh, that did come in two packages. So, I'm glad because it was pretty heavy. Yeah, this was a good compromise between leg press and hack squat and, and considering the amount of space that I have right now just in this small room. Uh, and I couldn't find anything used online really, you know, to try and save a few bucks. I just couldn't find anything really. So I just went ahead and uh, ordered new. And it's from the same company that my uh, high and low uh, pulley machine here is from. And that's Titan Fitness. There's the logo, the big, the brand right there. Good grief. Ugh. Oh my goodness. It's heavy. Heavy stuff, guys. Not real easy when you have a bad back and you're trying to do these kind of things. You want to enjoy them. You want to enjoy this kind of stuff. Every movement. <laughs> and then I got arthritis in my wrist, so everything's a little bit difficult. Okay. Some kind of bolts. Pins, something. These were actually out of the thing. They were supposed to be in here. Not a big deal. As long as I got everything. Sometimes, you know, they forget to package some stuff. But you never know. You never know until you're putting things together how it's going to go. Spring. The infamous springs.
everything, everything, everything seems packaged pretty well. No real complaints. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff, guys. The back is on fire. Here's the roller system. Uh, only part that I'm worried about. It's the part that does all the rolling with the rods that go in between here and it slides like so. Sometimes these kind of rollers are not the best. Uh, that's the only thing I'm worried about. And what do you do if they break? How do you replace them? What do you do, you know, 10 years down the line? Can somebody make these? I have no idea. You know, it's stuff like that you gotta think about. It's hard to believe there's two boxes. Jeez. Here's the foot plate. Oh, that's pretty heavy. That's your foot plate. It's where you put your feet on and then you squat and you roll up and then like so. There's one box. All right, let me stop this. Oh, I'm so glad I closed the legs. All right, we got box number two down here. One of these days, I'll put a new blade in this knife. Maybe. Yep, so I'm gonna have just enough room in here to have these couple of machines and my bench, and uh, eventually I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna build a dumbbell rack to go in the closet so it's not out here taking up space, and I can get my dumbbells off the floor. Uh, this is the main 
the main system right here. Oh, it's all one piece. Ow. Man, it's heavy. Good grief, man. What do they think I work out? Jeez Louise. All right. That's all. That's not it. One more piece. Good Lord. My goodness gracious in the morning. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a bar so I can beat people with it. I should be going tomorrow to get my 100 pound dumbbells fixed. To get those ends clipped off. You know, sawed off and then I can... I'm welding some washers on the ends that are big enough to hold the weights together and... and all that and uh... That should help out a lot. With them not digging into my legs whenever I set them on my legs. Ooh, it hurts. Okay. That's all. Yep, that's all. I can't even move. I'm pinned down. I can't move, Captain. Now there is a little booger right here in the middle. I'm not one of those people that care a whole lot about that. It's not bad, and you know things are gonna get kind of dinged when they're putting stuff in. Uh, not really a big deal to me. For some people, it's a big deal. You know, if, there's, if there's dents and stuff like that, that's a little bit bigger deal. All right, now I gotta go find the instructions online, so we'll get back in a minute. All right. Well, I can tell you that it's gonna be, this is gonna be a job. <laughs> so I'm just now getting started here. I don't guess there's any real way to do that. Yeah. Not sure if I'm going to even have time to eat tonight. I've had his breakfast today. All right. Well, I can tell you guys right now that this might not be for everyone to do because it's going to be a it's going to be a booger. I have looked at those instructions and looked and looked and looked and looked and looked and I'm not even certain about any of it. So I'm going to put this together like this and see how it goes from there. Okay, so after about, oh, 12 years of trying to figure this out, I think I have it figured out. Now, I had to take the whole thing apart. Had to take, 
I took the guide rod, uh, the guide rods, guide rods off. You know, that was all pre put together. You would figure they wouldn't put it together if you had to take it apart like that. But I just took the rods completely out and For any of you out there having to go through the heck of trying to put this thing together, I think I got it right. I'll know soon enough. So, anyway. Man, my tripod's falling apart. I'm sorry I'm not getting the whole video, but it, it, it would be, it would be hours long. <laughs> so, as you can see, the spring, spring, Seems to work. It sits against the frame here and goes in the hole in the lever. And those, those are the catches for the lever. So I'm gonna put the guide rods back in and get that situated and see if that looks right. It's already got nuts welded on there. And that's not real smooth. That don't even go down on its own. There it goes. Uh, we'll see guys it is late I haven't even had supper yet it is 8 o'clock yep I can officially say this is the hardest thing I've ever tried to put together <laughs> easily and it's not it, it shouldn't be that way but it's the directions or the lack thereof and that's a known issue with Titan Fitness is uh, they don't include manuals, you know, instructions. And, and you have to go online and look. And you can only see so much on your teeny tiny phone. So, especially when it comes to something like this. And that's really important and needs to move nice and fluidly. And it has, it has springs and locks and levers. And yeah, that's... I'm not real pleased right now. Uh, and again, the sled don't even move real smooth right now, so I'm kind of concerned about that. I don't know if I have the spring on right. There's only so many ways you can put that spring on. So, I don't know. We'll see, guys. Right now, I got to go get some. I got to find something to eat. I'm about to die. So, anyway, I got to go get some food.
still got to get the plate on. Guys, as you can tell, I'm a mess. This thing put me through the ringer. I've never put something together so heavy and so confusing in my life. Simple, but very confusing. The directions on the whole uh, spring thing and all that kind of stuff, very, very, uh, very, I don't forgot the word I'm looking for, bad. <laughs> So, anyway. Let's try it out real quick with no weights. Anyway. I'm a sweating crazy mess anyway that's gonna go right here well plenty room to spare what else can I get guys I hope you enjoyed this video because I didn't that was horrible horrible experience like share subscribe comment all that good stuff. Check out the playlist. All my videos are in playlist. Enjoy. Check out my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I live stream video games only. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. And don't forget, guys. Get up, get out, get rad, do it, do it. And I've got about 200 gig of video to go through. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!